awkward. Alana apparently is starving. Oh, there's a tag still in this shirt. Hello everyone, and thank you for stopping by um, on this video. Believe it or not, today is my 20th birthday. Whoa. Ow! Oh, fuck. Mmm. I thought for my 20th birthday, I'm gonna do 20 for 20, so that means for every year that I have been alive, I'm gonna go through each year and say something funny or unique that has happened to me, so let's get started. Okay, so obviously when I'm zero, I'm just gonna say I was born. I don't know if this is too personal or not, but my mom actually had to get a C-section because my head was too big, so sorry mom. Um, when I was actually one years old, my sister and my mom were fighting over a door. For some stupid reason, I put my finger between the door and it, let's just say, got kind of bloody and chopped it off. I kind of have a missing finger. Warning, it is not the prettiest thing. You will never notice uh, unless I actually showed it to you or if you pointed it out, but ready, let's look. Do you not see it? Do you not see how like, it's shorter than the other finger. So when I was actually two years old, I actually had this little curly Q thing, like a pigtail, I guess. My sister asked my mom if she scored two goals in her soccer game, if she could cut it off. Unfortunately, my sister only scored one, but she still got to cut it off. Okay, so when I was three years old, I was still living in Hawaii, and one of my uncles took me out surfing. I was going with my surfboard and everything. I just swept right up onto shore and there was these two Japanese tourists, a couple actually, walking. And then here comes the big little Johnny Tsunami thing, hit them, they like flipped and fell on their butts and got all wet. When I was four years old, um, one day I was eating pasta shells and I choked on one. And so ever since then, I have not been able to eat a pasta shell, like I'm actually kind of scared to. When I was five years old, my cousin, um, and my aunt took me bike riding down a big hill. So basically I hit the brake too fast and I went flying and I scraped my whole half of my face off. So when I was six years old going into kindergarten into first grade, one of the requirements is I had to learn how to skip. So basically I skipped my way into first grade. When I was seven years old, I auditioned for my first musical, Alice in Wonderland. I got seven lines and I was Bill the Lizard. When I was eight years old, I saw the movie Signs and I could not sleep in my bed for about three weeks. And till this day, I have not seen the movie. When I was nine years old in fourth grade, I got a letter from my teacher for being an outstanding student and I still have it framed and all. Dear Dane, you are such an outstanding person in so many ways, but today you are being honored for being a great friend. You always seem to be in a good mood. You have a personality that can make anyone smile. You are also not afraid to be yourself and let your creativity shine. Keep shining. Sincerely, Miss McClyman. Look at that letter. Star in the making, everyone. When I was 10 years old, I tried running away from home. I moved up to my tree house, and I actually only lasted 30 minutes. 11 years old, I was playing at recess. Everyone was sliding and having fun on the ice, and so, you know what, I was like, oh, let me try, that seems so much fun. I slide, I slip, I fall, and I smack my head on the ice and create like this humongous whole thing. I swear I got a concussion that was the worst headache I have ever gotten. When I was 12 years old, we were swimming and boogie boarding. They are like, oh guys, watch out. There's like, I heard there's a shark sighting. Me and my friend, all we see is this dark shadow just go underneath us. Ever since then, sharks have been a really big fear of mine. When I was 13 years old, finally a teenager, that was the worst birthday ever. I was at school and we were doing a project in the computer lab and everything. Three times this happened, I accidentally kicked the cords and turned off all the computers. That day we had a substitute teacher and literally she straight out and said, stop trying to get attention because you're not that special. When I was 14 years old, I was flying back uh, after Christmas vacation and the next day I had school and I totally forgot to do my homework. So I did it on a barf bag on the plane and I actually got full credit. All my life I've been dealing with this, but when I was 15 years old, I had a five hour nosebleed. By the time I got to the hospital, it stopped. 
Go figure. This is such an embarrassing story. When I was 16 years old, uh, me and my cousins and my sister were all spearfishing in Hawaii, and we found an octopus. And it was like this baby octopus, maybe about like head with this big. I started picking it up, and I was playing with it, and I was like, wow, this is strong. And one of my cousins go, Dane, watch out, I might bite you. And I start screaming and trying to rip this octopus off. My sister recorded maybe about an eighth of what happened, and here's the footage. Get it off! Get it off! Get it off! Get it off! <laughs> Yeah, that's me. Don't ask me why I'm so weird, but this is where I got my love for polar bears. When I was 17 years old, me and my cousin went to SeaWorld. We went to the polar bear exhibit and we were looking at the polar bear. And the next thing you know is the polar bear was putting its feet up the edge of the rock and started just squirting out poop. It was like a fire hose of like three feet, but I could not stop laughing the whole day and probably for the next six months. When I was 18 years old, um, our school has a thing called the Holiday Show. We do a Holiday Show telethon fundraiser, and my senior year, um, I was one of the main hosts for it. We raised $64,000 for a fundraiser called Finley's Fighters, and that was one of the most awesome things that has ever happened and for me to be part of it was even better. Um, that same day I won Mr. HK and that same year I won Prom King. Oh, Ugh, doesn't really fit. Uh, when I was 19 years old I guess I started a thing called a YouTube channel and started vlogging and everything. And now I am 20 years old. It is time to make some new memories. Um, I hope you guys learned something about me. Uh, this was really, really fun. It's really, really funny just to think about all the things that has happened to me throughout the years. Once again, if you had anything funny that has happened to you when you were a little kid or just throughout the years of your life, please leave it in the comment below. I will not judge you. You just heard all my stories and everything. Please hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Um, please subscribe. And hopefully this inspired you to think back to your life and just think of all the funny things that has happened to you over the years. Once again, thank you guys for everything. And you know what? I'm gonna finish the rest of my cupcake. Bye guys! Get it off! <laughs>